Hey there. How are you guys doing? You know, I haven't been on in a while, and I wanted to do something different. Um, I wanted to make a survival world, and I want to play it and do fun stuff in it. So, yeah, we're going to start Mist's World. So we're going to play in hard mode, and there's going to be nothing else. So let's just see where we spawn. And I'm not going to check the seed. I'm not going to use the seed. I'm not, I don't want to know what the seed is. I'm going to try to do everything based on just simple techniques that you can use. You know, normally. So that it can be applied to any world. So it looks like we've spawned in a... Ooh, this is nice. We got a swamp biome right off the bat. That's good. So spawn has a swamp. There's a village. And we're going to not start by punching wood. In this case, since we found a village, we are going to go to it. And, ooh, blacksmith. You know what? That might just have the tool we need. Okay, so let's see. Do we get lucky? I'm not even going to open it. We're just going to bust it and see what we get. <laughs> Obsidian. Nice. Let's just go ahead and grab that hay over there. That would be another thing. Food is one of our priorities, and just grabbing hay bales are good. Yep, got to be locked in difficulty hard. And that about wraps up the hay bales. Alright, I'm going to need that grindstone. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to take these furnaces, and we are going to locate that iron golem. You probably have not seen it. I've seen it. I'm going to find it again. And I'm going to use... There he is. I'm going to use this iron to make a bucket if we get lucky enough. Ah, pumpkins. Beautiful. This is a really good start. This is actually going exactly the way I wanted it to go. Um, this part, however, is actually quite tricky. I'm going to hide under this tree. Hello? Oh, I don't hear his sound. Let's uh, get ourselves... I don't think Iron Goms are friendly creatures, but whatever. Yeah. Let's just get his iron. Yep, three iron. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. Okay, I'll just take my Lotha bucket. And yeah, I'm just I'm actually just gonna hit the road now. Pumpkins, where are you? There you are. Beautiful. Here's what we're gonna do next. So since we've done everything we can in the village, I'm going to take these pumpkins and search for a snow biome. Oh guys, can this be it? Snow! Finally I found snow! <laughs> yes. Okay, shuffle. And there we go. Yay. And it looks like we only get one snowball. I remember there was a time where two snowballs would pop out, but maybe that was just a plug-in. I don't know. Well, I found something particularly interesting. Look at that. There's a jungle here. <laughs> now that is quite an interesting biome. <laughs> looks like I took a brief nap in this jungle biome. Which way are we going? Uh, wrong way, I think. Yeah, we want to keep going outwards. Ah, I found something that I was actually looking for. Melon blocks. Melon blocks are actually useful for certain uh, flying machine based mob farms. Particularly a weather skeleton farm. That's, that's one that I would like melons for. So I'm going to collect a few of these. This will probably be the only melons I stop for because that's all I need. Okay, I'm going to tell you one thing straight here. Look at this biome. Th wouldn't this be cool to build a base here? This would be too cool to build a base here. Okay, you know what? This is quite a big swamp. I see a lot of things going on here. So first of all, we've got this big water bit. And I find that quite interesting so far. I'm going to pop a checkpoint. That's why I've got multiple beds. There we go. Oh yeah, boats don't break from that anymore. I realize that. Oh. 
Uh, yes. Okay. There's a nice thing about this place, though. Look at that. We found... Is this an ocean biome? We found it. We found an ocean biome. Yay. <laughs> Finally. Our... Our very uh, long journey, yeah, it's pretty long. I mean, look at that. Almost 4,000 blocks out. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and just set up shop. So... Oh, that's a little too high. I'll fix that. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. There's dolphins playing around. I just noticed that. That's nice. So we've got iron, and from the village, we have a furnace, and coal that we mined from earlier so all I have to do is just put that in there for now and then I can go ahead and start work on the snow farm which is as easy as just building this structure and now we have to wait because I need the iron I need two iron and now I can go ahead and place a snowman down, so... Yep, you just shear it like so. And you need the snow golem to be above ocean level to do the snow, I believe. So we're just above ocean level. I put a roof to protect it from rain, just in case, because that can happen. I'm certain it can happen. Okay, and here's the cool trick. So since we put the snowman on a chest, snow layers generate down here. So now I don't have to worry about hitting our snowman. I can just do this. Oh wow, that's fast. Okay. It's very fast. Yes. And voila. Free snow. Okay, so I've gathered a few stacks of snow blocks and we ran out of cobblestone, but that's nothing we have to worry about because I was sure to grab a lava bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and build a simple cobblestone generator. So to build a cobblestone generator, you just need a little pocket for the water, pocket for the lava, and I will go ahead and block off the lava with something, like so. And I'll put the water in there, and now that is a cobblestone farm. Yeah, so the next thing we could take care of now that we've got cobblestone is getting wood. Wood's useful and I'm going to rely on the birch tree because it doesn't grow branches. Which is good in my opinion right now because I don't want to chop down giant trees. Okay, so I believe we've gathered enough resources. We've got quite a bit of stuff there, so now we have enough snow blocks to actually start building up into the sky. That was my plan, you know. So, after we take a rest, I will go and build up into the sky. I think for the most part, I'm just going to establish my base in a few upcoming episodes, so that should be fun. And yeah, we're almost at the right Y level, so yep, the ground slowly disappears, which is kind of cool. So 
we're actually at Y189 where the blocks are on the ground there, but yeah, that's the deal with that. Now, I'm going to leave the snow blocks here because I'm actually going to establish a bubble column here later on in the future, so there's no point in removing that. But yeah, I believe that's that. We've established our base, and in the next episode, we will build the mob farm. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.